Do you find the social issues of today troubling? Daniel was troubled for his people. He wanted to know what was going to happen to them in the future. In his loving care, God not only told him what would happen to his people, the Jews, he gave him more. We continue looking at the judgment from a mathematical perspective. We do this using Daniel and Revelation in the context of the three angels message in Revelation 14. These messages make of the core of the gospel of Jesus Christ and of the present truth for our time. You can find any of our previous videos at sabbathschooldaily.com. And the study guide for these lessons is found on sabbath.school or ssnet.org. Heavenly Father, the visions and prophecies you have provided in the Bible are relevant. Help us to understand their relevance to us today. In Jesus' name, amen. Besides providing Daniel with prophetic information on the future of his people, God gave Daniel more. Not only did God reveal to Daniel the future for Daniel's people, the Jews, God revealed to Daniel the future of humanity. The vision that Daniel had is found in the Old Testament in Daniel 8. The part of this prophecy that was distressing to Daniel is the 2,300 days, which we understand prophetically speaking represents 2,300 years. In the previous lesson, we found that the 490 years were determined, that is cut off, subtracted from the 2,300 years. This time was specifically allotted for Daniel's people, the Jews. But when was that 490 years to begin and end? It was to start with the command to build and restore Jerusalem. Various decrees have been made regarding Jerusalem. However, the decree in Ezra 7, 13, and 27, which occurred in 457 BC, is the only decree that allows the Jews to not only return to Jerusalem, it allowed the Jews to leave Babylon and go back to their homeland, and they were allowed to establish themselves as a religious community again. It says, I issued a decree that all those of the people of Israel and the priests and the Levites in my realm who volunteer to go up to Jerusalem may go with you. Blessed be the Lord of our fathers who have put such a thing as this in the king's heart to beautify the house of the Lord, which is in Jerusalem. Therefore, in the fall of 457 BC, King Artaxerxes commanded the Jews to go home and build their city. What is significant is that in Daniel, Gabriel tells Daniel that 483 years would pass from the time the Jews started rebuilding Jerusalem to the time of the Messiah. If we start at 457 BC and move forward on history's mathematical timeline, adding 483 years, we arrive at AD 27. The word Messiah means anointed one. What happened in AD 27? Jesus Christ, the Messiah was baptized according to Matthew 3, 13 through 17. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. And John tried to prevent him saying, I need to be baptized by you. And are you coming to me? But Jesus answered and said to him, permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. What's interesting here is that Daniel announces the exact year for Jesus' baptism, several hundred years before Jesus is baptized, which is also the time that Jesus 
begin his three and a half year ministry on earth. Gabriel in Daniel 9, 25 explains to Daniel and after 62 weeks, Messiah, the chosen one, the savior shall be cut off, that is killed, but not for himself. In other words, Gabriel tells Daniel that the savior will be cut off. He will die on the cross. Then he adds, but not for himself. This tells us, though Jesus could have saved himself from the fires of affliction, he instead died to save us. This is why Paul writes in Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Furthermore, in Daniel 9, 27, we read that then the Messiah shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to the sacrifice and offerings. And on the wing of abominations shall be one who makes desolate. What does this mean? In the middle of his 70th week, in AD 31, Christ confirmed the everlasting covenant with his blood. He did this by dying on the cross. At this point, the Jewish sacrificial system lost any and all prophetic significance. Therefore, this verse is talking about the final week of the 70-week time prophecy of the 490-year prophetic years. In the timeline of the 490 years in AD 31, Jesus keeps the promise that God made to his people. Jesus kept this promise with his blood, which he offered for our sins when he died on the cross. So the Jews no longer needed to bring animal offerings for their sins to the temple. These prophecies reveal that Christ, the Messiah, would be crucified and cause the sacrificial system to cease its prophetic importance in the spring of AD 31. These predictions were fulfilled in every detail, exactly at Passover, when the high priest was offering the Passover lamb, Christ was sacrificed for all, both Jews and Gentiles. Aligning with Daniel 9, 24 which, uh, through 27, which says, 70 weeks are determined for your people and for your holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sin, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness, to seal up vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the command to restore and build Jerusalem until Messiah the Prince, there shall be seven weeks and 62 weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublesome time. And after the 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it shall be with the flood until the end of the war desolations are determined. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of abomination shall be one who makes desolate, even until the consummation, which is determined, is poured out on the desolate. Mark 15, 38 and Matthew 3, 15 and 16 demonstrates Jesus was the Messiah. Matthew 3, 15, 16 through 16 says, but Jesus answered and said to him, permitted to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water and behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And upon his death, Mark 15, 38 says, then the veil of the temple 
was torn in two from top to bottom, demonstrating an end of the Jewish system of sacrificial offerings. This, however, only covers 483 years, with 2,300 years, if we start from 457 BC, we would end in 1844. Watch our next video, day six, the year 1844.